Matt Sparapani and Allison Newberry weren't planning to be in Chicago in the summer of 2020. Yeah, yeah. But I like many of us, these Chicago school teachers had to rethink their plans. Well, we usually have big summer plans. Being teachers, you know, we have the summer off. And so um, this year we were going to go to Vancouver Island and do a, one of the classic hikes of the world, the West Coast Trail. And then do some more backpacking in, in the western United States, in Idaho, and in the Wind River Range in Wyoming. For the last 12 years, Matt and Allison have used their summers off to take on some of the greatest hikes in the world. And lucky for us, they're also both top-notch photographers. They've even written a book about it. In 2020, however, they were forced by a pandemic to stay closer to home. Ooh, there's a kingfisher. Sweet. And it's changed their opinion about what Chicago has to offer nature-wise. We used to kind of bemoan the fact that we lived in Chicago. Like we, you know, really lived for the summer when we could get away and go to these exotic places that were so beautiful. But this year, they've had plenty of time to explore their own backyard. All of these photos were taken in the Chicago area. Like everybody, we got a little stir crazy and wanted to get outside and thought, well, let's go to one of our local forest preserves. But they didn't just go to one local forest preserve. This year, Allison and Matt have visited more than 60 natural areas in the Chicago region. And they say they know they have just scratched the surface. Today, they're at the Middle Fork Savannah Forest Preserve in Lake County. Most of their local photography is focused on wildlife, especially birds. So far this year, 173 species. But they're not going to pass up the non-avian critters that present themselves. While the Chicago area can't claim any mountains or even many hills, Allison and Matt say they've come to love the wide variety of ecosystems. Prairies, forests, wetlands, moraines. And it's not all about photography. Sometimes they do put their cameras back in the car. Usually when we're deciding where to go, we try to pick a place where we, you know, hoping that we'll see birds in the morning um, or in the late afternoon, and then we'll combine it with some other activity. We spent years uh, looking all over the world for beauty in nature, and uh, it turns out it's right out your own back door. And Matt and Allison have found that even if their destination is not grand and exotic, a walk, ride, or paddle in nature is not only a great way to be socially distant, it can also be a balm for a stressful time. <laughs>